get up. Once you get up, it's considered a travel. Uh huh. Okay. There's Marcellinus. And he blew by Hunter. And Hunter tried to hang on to it. And hung on to him instead and draws his second foul. Pete Newell in the first game of this series talked about Marshallinas resembling Gail Goodrich. If that wasn't classic Gail Goodrich there, he hooked him with his right hand as he went around him. Hunter takes a seat, and Turgeon comes in for him. Turgeon started the game. Here's Marshallinas, 83% free throw shooter. It looks like it. And they're now in the bonus situation. And he hits both of them. And it's a two-point game. Remember, it was 7 nothing. since then. USSR has scored 15 points. And there are a couple more by Kansas 12. Randall, the freshman, gets his first. He'll remember that one, a runner that gave him the good bounce. Gover off. That's Randall on him. Gover off takes the shot, a low trajectory. And Randall comes down with a rebound. Turgeon loses the ball off his hands. Ten left, four point game. Whoa, easy. Wow. Well, Tachenko is that's the most threatening look I've seen him give. Well, what ha what happened here was that the pivot play was starting to get a little rough, and Elvarado and Tachenko going at it. Well, and Elvarado hits him. They call a double foul. Well, they should. Tachenko threw the elbow first, and then Alvarado came back. Well, give one to Tachenko and one to Alvarado, but Alvarado didn't back off, did he? Did not double foul. That's what they call a false double foul. The arrow pointing uh, Kansas's way, so they'll have the basketball. Pellock getting Michael Meaches, who's back in the ball game. He, the deadly shooter, and he almost lost the ball away again. Sock picks it up. Jenko's outside for heaven's sake. Now he goes back down the low post. Marcellinus driving on Randall to feed it to Jenko, and he misses it. Just got to underhanded it up there. Two on one, Manning, right over Sock. Intercepted, and the Soviets were slow getting back on defense, and there is a ball thrown by Pritchard, tipped by a Soviet, belongs still to Kansas. And Pauline is not happy. Well, this is a, this is a, this will be a feature of the highlight film. One hand power dunk, Soak smartly got out of the way. But the only thing we haven't seen Manning do thus far in this game that's only 10 minutes old is make a three-pointer. He's done everything else. Overall claims that that was just a bad pass by Pritchard that it touched nobody. But Jim Murphy said, oh, yes, it did. So it's Kansas's ball in. 17-11, 10 and a half minutes left. And this is the way it is for all of Kansas basketball here. Now, that's a bad pass by the freshman there, Mark Randall. Trying to get it to Manning. Intent was good. Look at that. Behind the back. Here's Komichus, and he's good. Komichus now has four points, and it's 17-13. Soviets will pick up their standard of play also. Bunch of good ball players here, and Kansas is looking to have another great year as they did last year. Being boot, beaten four times only twice by Duke in their first and last games of the year. Here's Pritchard, and he loses the ball away, but they say it was knocked out of the hands of Pritchard by Volkov. Soviets playing a few minutes ago with three guards and two centers. Now Volkov's back, so they've got two centers, two guards, and a forward. And Kansas playing with a couple of freshmen. There's one of them, Randall. They're going to call three seconds on it. Well, I think they're calling it travel, Jim, and the crowd doesn't understand it, but the basketball rules say if you go to the floor for a loose ball, you cannot get up. Once you get up, it's considered a travel. Uh-huh, okay. There's Marcellinus, and he blew by Hunter, and Hunter tried to hang on to it and hung on to him instead and draws his second foul. Pete Newell in the first game of this series talked about Marshallinas resembling Gail Goodrich. If that wasn't classic Gail Goodrich there, he hooked him with his right hand as he went around him. Hunter takes a seat, and Turgeon comes in for him. Turgeon started the game. Here's Marshallinas, 83% free throw shooter. It looks like it. And they're now in the bonus situation. And he hits both of them. And it's a two-point game. Remember, it was 7-0 since 
since then, USSR has scored 15 points. And there are a couple more by Kansas 12. Randall, the freshman, gets his first. He'll remember that one, a runner that gave him the good bounce. Goveroff, that's Randall on him. Goveroff takes the shot, a low trajectory, and Randall comes out with a rebound. Turgeon loses the ball off his hands. Nine, ten left, four point game. Whoa, easy. Wow. Oh, Tachenko is, that's the most threatening look I've seen him give. Well, what, ha what happened here was that the pivot play was starting to get a little rough, and Alvarado and Tachenko going at it. Well, Alvarado hits him. They call a double foul. Well, they should. Tachenko threw the elbow first, and then Alvarado came back. Well, give one to Tachenko and one to Alvarado, but Alvarado didn't back off, did he? He did not. Double foul. That's what they call a false double foul. The arrow pointing uh, Kansas's way, so they'll have the basketball. Pellock getting ready to come back in. He's the man that Alvarado replaced. 8.50 left in this first half. There's Alvarado covered up quickly, gets the ball out to Pritchard. He takes a shot and drops it through. And Kevin Pritchard, the all-everything from Oklahoma high school player, has his first basket. And that's 14 points. Piper, Pellock, Manning, Hunter, and Turgeon, the starters for Kansas. The Leeches fed the ball right to Pellock. Two on two. Turgeon trying to make something happen there. And they said, yes, he did. Mark Turgeon gets his second basket, and he is fouled. Now, this is really a marvelous play by Turgeon. This kid is just a little gym rat that really doesn't have any right to be playing as successfully in Division I basketball as he is. He's a little guy. He doesn't have a lot of power. He doesn't have a lot of anything except a lot of heart, Jim, and he just keeps coming at you, and that time he just willed it in. Volkov draws the foul, and Turgeon misses the shot. Lamichis. That's Volkov. The backup for Turgeon. Maybe the starter someday is Pritchard. There's Komichis. And Vladis now has 15 points to lead all scorers. It's 44-42. Again, that jump stop again. They had a great guard years ago named Sergei Bailoff that did the same thing. Great pass by Manning. And a great defensive play by Babenko, knocking the shot away as attempted by Pella. played very little in that first half. He did start the game. Manning, he took a little extra step trying to get down that side of the lane. And that's walking. 44-40. Much better on this tour earlier on. Lately, he's been really logging the fouls. Volkov, I think, might have fouled twice. He hooked the first guy and then ran into Pellet. They only gave one. He'll have more, more fouls per minute played in the United States by any Soviet player in their history. <laughs> Chance to tie it now, or if they take a three-pointer, to go ahead. One by two, Kansas, 27 seconds on the clock. Turgeon takes the shot to tie, and uh, I think Mark got a load of Kevin Pritchard playing out there in his spot, and he's come back like oh, better than a gym rat. There's Volkov. And that is a shot there by Babenko. And a whistle blows as Manning comes down with the ball. Babenko draws the foul, his third. Well, that's the kind of thing that Danny Manning, he's got to do so much for this Kansas team if they're going to approach their potential. We've seen him pass, we've seen him run the court. But he is 6'11", Jim, and he's got a rebound in traffic, and that was a major league traffic rebound. Tied at 44. Piper from the side, and Chris Piper has his first basket. That's a bonus that Piper can give him that baseline jump shot. That'll be big as the year wears on. Well, they're stepping up their play a little bit, in my opinion, moving the ball around a little bit better. Marcellinus gets the shot away. No good batting there for the rebound. And oh, look at this. Hunter can just go all the way, but he is hit by Marcellinus, saving the basket, but sending him to the line. Hunter is one for three from the line. 
Now tell me this replay doesn't remind you of Magic Johnson. Gets the rebound himself, dribbles around a couple of guys, hooks around, throws a long bounce pass. Terrific. Time is called. It is 46-44, 16.52 to go. It's not over yet. What a game at Allen Fieldhouse in Lawrence, Kansas. But there's one player who cannot play now or the rest of this year. Well, you know, when you look at this Kansas team, Archie Marshall, what a big, big story he was for them a year ago. Really an outstanding player out for the year with a knee injury that's going to require a completely rebuilt knee and a lot of rehabilitation. But uh, this young man will be back a year from now, but it's almost scary to think with these freshmen, if Marshall were available to him this year along with Manning, uh, that would be something. Cedric Hunter, one for three from the line, will get two shots. So no good. Pellock got the rebound. Here it comes Hunter. The feed to Turgeon. Kansas by five. Boy, the guards did the job there. Hunter and Turgeon. Classic three on two. So meets his three points. Can he shoot the basketball? 18 points. And they go from a five-point lead to a two-point lead. Turgeon was all over him, Jim, right in his face. Crowd here at Allen Fieldhouse is never out of it. Never. There's a three-point try by Turgeon! He has nine points in this half. And he answers right back, doesn't he? He's the guy who said couldn't shoot. 52-47. Foul called on Hunter. He fouled Kamichis for Cedric. That's his third. Looks like the knee brigade coming in for the Soviet Union. Babenko and Tachenko. Four legs, four knee guards. Karakonov is the other man. I made the same mistake on that six and eight before. Yeah. It looks like an eight, but it's a six of Karakonov. When you look at him from the front, he's, he's inbounding bounding. the ball. Kamichis, two points, and he can hit, but does not bear. Ball goes out of bounds and belongs to Kansas. 52, 47, 15 and a half minutes to go. You would think this is February or March instead of November and an exhibition. Manning's played every minute, Jim. Goes Martellinus, and there's Manning. Four points this half, 16 altogether. Seven-point lead. They've equaled their biggest lead. They had a 7 nothing lead. Now they lead 54-47. Pachenko is fouled by Sean Alvarado, and if that is on Alvarado, as I believe, that'll be number four on him. The meet just at the line. Can't argue with the percentages. Not in this half. Chenko is out at the top of the key also. Here's Eric Karnoff, the veteran. Cannot complete the shot. Good defense there by Piper. Kamichis, Pritchard is back in on him. Kamichis shooting, and it does not go in, and tipped away. Oh, what a great control job by Hunter. Feed, Piper, Manning, yes! Nine-point lead. Manning figured in the rebound down here. He trailed it down, and Kansas with a good secondary break, and they're up nine. It was tied at 44 as Terrakonov shoots, and he misses. Kansas has outscored him 12 to 3. Pitcher. Tipped him by Hunter. An 11 point lead. This we have not seen on our telecast. We've seen 11 point leads, but by the Soviets, not by an American college team. Soviets called timeout. 